I'm Dr. David Schwartzberg, and let's talk about hernia and prolapse. If you remember from our last video, we talked about how we made a small slit in the fascia, and eventually that slit becomes an oval. And through that, we're able to bring the bowel through and comes out as a stoma. Now, the important thing is to pay attention to either side of here and here, because over time, it will get bigger. And unfortunately, what happens is over time, it gets much bigger. Sometimes, when it's small, it can cause problems with pouching, but ultimately, maybe causes some pain. The problem is over time, it can get much bigger, uh, weight gain is, is a risk factor, steroid use, or simply just having the stoma for a long period of time. It's no one's fault, it's just something that happens. It stretches out, and when it gets to a certain point, other loops of bowel can get caught. And when that happens, it can cause a lot of pain. It can also cause, again, problems with pouching and cause other issues. That's what a hernia is. A prolapse if we're going all through the layers of the abdominal wall, we take our bowel and we bring it through and it's circumferential, 3D, and you fix the bowel to the skin. The problem is the inside is still all connected and even though in some ways it's fixed because of its blood supply, which is called the mesentery, and it might have some scar tissue, ultimately it's still free to move around and wiggle and be mobile. And unfortunately what happens is sometimes it's too mobile and it comes out. And then what happens is it's still fixed here, but the other part can prolapse. It can prolapse a lot. But the thing to do is reduce it back into the abdomen. But if it continues to happen, both of these things can be fixed sometimes surgically. And it's something that if it is happening, you can bring up with your surgeon and talk about possible surgical corrections. Thank you.